Okay, so it is Wednesday, December the 6th morning. I just finished the written exam, which actually included what I thought was going to be a quiz. So they rolled it all into one. Aren't they sweet? How convenient for, uh, for them, not for us. Um, actually, I think I did exceedingly well, probably 100% on just the memorization part, which doesn't count for a whole lot of points. I know I messed up on some other things. Um, some of them I just took a guess at. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to play out. Um, I think I can miss nine and still pass. I'm a little nervous about this test. I'm not even going to lie. So they have a guest speaker. I saw him there in the classroom as we were taking the test. That might be interesting. Um, hopefully it won't be another dry lecture. Anyway, um, I have a good mm, 40 minutes before I have to be back, so I think I'm going to go downstairs and see what I can find for breakfast because there's no food in my room. Talk to you soon. I hope I pass this test. Bye. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you that this is what they sell at one of the, I guess it's like a little deli or something. Nothing fresh there, of course. $3.40 before my 20% off discount, but that's ridiculous for, all they do is you pick the flavor, which they have like two flavors of and you get your hot water but it's breakfast for now so it looks like it's going to be a nice beautiful day i know it's pretty cold in las vegas and on the east coast more north in new york you guys are really suffering but we've got a beautiful blue sky you can see the moon actually too up there um it's supposed to be foggy this morning but i didn't see any fog um, but this is pretty much all i see in orlando i don't get too far uh, from here. I've never been in the pool or the barbecues or the spa. or the I don't have the time. I have got to use every spare minute to study. So uh, I'm waiting for the house cleaners to come. So I took everything off the floor, piled up all my towels for them, and they still haven't come. Um, yesterday they brought me towels I didn't ask for when I had the DND, Do Not Disturb, out in the door. And they brought me room service that I didn't ask for. Again, when I had the DND &D on the door. And then I called for a my nightly wake-up call for the following morning. And they didn't even put it through. It's a good thing. I set my other alarms, which is my Alexa and my phone. So anyway, that's it. Signing off for now. Hello, all. Um, it's still... Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? You lose track of days when you're in training. I passed that test I was so worried about this morning. Ooh, I was tripping. Oh, it was tough. I went, looked at the test they gave me, went, what? <laughs> there's a certain section of, of um, the training. And there's, I mean, there's so many components, but there's one component to it that I don't get. And I, it's like, I know I'll get it once I get on the plane and start working, but I don't understand. I understand the concept, but I don't understand you know how they come up with this and so when it, it, it's like on a chart I can't really go into it too much but it's like on a chart and you have to put things where they need to go and I literally I mean I studied my brains off please don't get the wrong idea I mean I study all night until well till 10 o'clock as I get up at five and I study two and a half more hours in the morning and so I'm fresh into that and I got a hundred percent on the memorization part which was one of the hardest ones to do because that was a huge long thing but when it, they showed me this chart and it wasn't uh, multiple choice or it was mostly fill in the blank or fill in the chart I kind of just guessed I guessed at it and you know what I only got two wrong and uh, one was on on that chart thing and another one was a uh, another one I took a guess at on a different different set of things and I I should have guessed that. So anyway, you can miss nine and not have to take it over or be sent home. Um, I only missed two total for both. Well, one was 100% and the other one was two. So I am ecstatic about that. I was so relieved. All the praying is working out. Just saying. So we didn't get out of class till about almost six o'clock and it was a busy day. Um, of course, you have your tests in the morning and then I think at least two people got sent home. Yeah, so what probably happened is that they had failed a test somewhere along the line, a previous test, and they 
they got their one retake and they made it up. And so at that point, you have to make every single, you have to pass every single test. You can't have a, a failed test again. So you only get one retake for the whole course of the training for the whole month. So they must have failed it at a different time. So they used up their retake. So they, they didn't make it this time. So yeah, it's sad when people go, especially this close to graduation, it can almost see the finish line. I can almost see those wings on me. I watch a lot of videos. I really wasn't prepared for all the videos you watch of, um, you know, why crashes happen and how people survived or what they could have done to survive and that kind of thing. I'm surprised at how many of those we watch. We watch a lot of those. But now tonight, I really don't have to study. They want us to read. Okay. That's not something you're going to test me on. Now, there's a test on this subject on Saturday, but it's Wednesday. And tomorrow we're doing a field trip someplace. I, I mean, I don't know how much fun it is because you get graded on it like I did today. Well, it's a pass or fail thing, but um, it beats seven hours of lecture. People are moaning and groaning, but you know what? It beats seven hours of lecture or eight hours, nine hours, which they've done. I mean, you get your potty breaks. You get a 10-minute break, and um, you can run down. Really, it's not enough for you to get back to your hotel room. So you have, if you need to go potty, you can run down to the bathroom, down the hall, and you have to come right back. And... Anybody who's on the other side of the door when it shuts at that 10 minute mark, bye bye Felicia. And there's no retake on that. So I rarely leave my seat. Um, but that's when I check my phone messages and uh, sometimes check out the camera to see what's going on at home. Um, I used to talk to my dog, but that's making her howl. So I think she just misses me too much. So I don't want to freak her out anymore. Thank you to my daughter who takes my dog at least once a week. Um, so that she's not home howling. That's very sweet of her because she's got two of her own dogs and then her own kids who are almost always sick. At least one of them is constantly sick. And then she has a daycare with two other kids she watches. So then she, my husband drops her off, um, drops my dog off at her place because she lives just under a mile from us, right around the corner really. And then um, she brings her back. <laughs> And I have to disarm the house alarm so she can get in and out and being on a different time zone that hasn't always been very convenient because my husband's at work and I'm here three hours difference but we're making it work and I am so so lucky to have the support that I do um, from my family my husband to you know make this come to fruition um, you know I don't know if being a flight attendant is my dream it used to be when I was a lot younger um, it's incredibly hard now this may have come at the right time right place you know 20 years later so here I am and uh, we'll see I still have two more tests to do um, I have one more well two more written tests you still have other things you get tested on but that's a hands-on thing they gotta watch you do it one written test on Saturday and then finals on Monday and I think they do HR business or something like that and they have speakers come in for a couple of days and I think I should graduate the following Wednesday I believe it is praying I make it that far still got some testing to do so anyway gonna eat my dinner before it gets cold and uh, just checking in with everybody I hope you're all doing well and uh, for sure post questions comments um, I will try to answer them as quickly as I can and uh, hopefully by the time you're seeing this I will already have uh, graduated and will be in the skies see you then bye <music>